Have you ever looked up at the night sky and noticed the moon? And then maybe you looked at it a week later and it looked different? Have you ever wondered why it is that the moon appears to grow and shrink over time? Depending on where you live, you might look up and imagine that you see a man in the moon or a white rabbit, or maybe you joke that the moon is made of cheese. It is definitely not made of cheese. Please do not try to eat the moon. But what's really going on? Let's back up a bit. We all know that the Earth is spinning on an axis. It takes about 24 hours for the Earth to spin around one time. We call the time it takes the Earth to spin around a single day. But the Earth is not just sitting in space twiddling its non-existent thumbs. The Earth is also on a merry-go-round orbit around the Sun. The orbit's not a perfect circle, by the way. It's a wonky shape called an ellipse, kind of like an egg shape. We call the time it takes the Earth to complete one journey around the Sun one year. And the time it takes the Earth to make this one full orbit around the Sun, the Earth has enough time to spin around 365 times. So in one year, there are 365 days. So far, so good. Some cultures opted, in addition to a solar calendar, to use a lunar calendar. It takes about 27 days for the moon to go through a complete lunar cycle from new to full and back to new again. This is how long it takes the moon to orbit the Earth. Some holidays and festivals are marked according to a lunar calendar, like the New Year or Easter. Well, let's step back and take a better look at what's going on here. The Earth is spinning on an axis. The moon is orbiting the Earth. Meanwhile, the Earth is orbiting around the sun, and the sun is orbiting around the center of our galaxy, and our galaxy is... You get the idea. Let's zoom back. Okay, so if we look here, we can see that the moon is just a rock. It doesn't produce its own light. It acts like a mirror, reflecting the light of the sun. But something is happening as a result of it spinning around the Earth. From Earth, looking up, we see more or less light, depending on where the moon is in its orbit. When the moon is completely behind us, we can see it fully lit up by the sun, a full moon. As it continues to revolve, because of the angle, it looks a little less lit up. We call this kind of moon a gibbous. When it's side by side with the Earth, we can only see half of the moon lit up. When it's in front, we can't see any of the moon lit up at all. It looks totally dark from where we're standing. And we call this a new moon. But as it keeps rotating, the light begins to return sliver by sliver as a crescent moon. As it continues to revolve, we can see more of its light until it grows to a half moon, a gibbous, and once again a full moon. No matter where you are on Earth, you see the same phases of the moon. Although people in the north of the equator see them one way and people south of the equator see it both the other way. Remember, when it comes to the phases of the moon, it all depends on how you look at it.